Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, let's look back at the Nintendo Direct last week, where they announced Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games coming to Nintendo Switch Online. And while we saw Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy teased, there were no mainline Pokemon games. But I think we would all have to be pretty dumb to presume that we're not going to see Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon games soon on Nintendo Switch Online. And I think I know when it's going to happen. Let's jump right into things. This whole thing kind of ties together two different topics that we're going to be talking about this month. Of course, I did the video a couple days back, couple weeks back now, about Pokemon Day this month. At the end of the month, we it's Pokemon Day, Pokemon's anniversary. Typically, when we're expecting new game news, new product news, they use Pokemon Day as a prime place to announce that stuff for the rest of the year. Now that we have Scarlet and Violet, the assumption is that there's going to be DLC and probably multiple rounds of DLC a la an expansion pass coming this year. Pokemon Day is the perfect time to announce this expansion, to announce rough release windows for the expansion stuff, and kind of tease fans to what's going to be coming for the Pokemon franchise this year. I talked about in that video extra stuff, whether it might be possible spin-offs that we're getting this year, maybe some added content for Terra Raid Battles in Scarlet and Violet, maybe Pokemon Go and other applications getting updates, the usual stuff that Pokemon will lump into these presents presentations, what used to be Pokemon Directs and they've since rebranded. Well, we got the Nintendo Direct last week and most people, including myself, didn't expect there to be many things about Pokemon. The biggest thing that I probably expected was maybe Maybe Pokemon would want to push a, a patch to Scarlet and Violet and announce it in the direct. A patch is something that's addressing negatives about the game, performance, frame rate, etc. Maybe in Pokemon's mind, they put that in the Nintendo Direct, take the negativity away, put it there. That way, when they do Pokemon Day, they can already say, oh, the patch is already out. I hope you're enjoying the new update to Scarlet and Violet, and here is our DLC, instead of putting the patch in with the Scarlet and Violet DLC announcement. That didn't happen. There was some Pokemon news, but that was not it. So we're probably going to get that patch update either just randomly one night, the service will go down, they'll update things and then we'll get the patch or they'll announce it for an update on Pokemon Day if we do end up getting a presents. So that is in the future. But in the direct, we saw Game Boy support added to Nintendo Switch Online. Regular Game Boy support for Nintendo Switch Online base model and for the expansion pack Game Boy Advance. Not only did they have a great selection of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, but we did see Pokemon tees. Pokemon trading card game, which you can get right now on the 3DS eShop, is coming to NSO in the future. There was no date, it didn't come with the original drop, but it was teased as a game coming soon. And as soon as that happened, Twitter was ablaze with speculation. What about Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow? What about Gold, Silver, and Crystal? Games we've already seen on virtual console platforms in the past. We had these games on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. You can still pick up these games on the Nintendo 3DS eShop until March. For just as a PSA, you can only download games on the Nintendo 3DS eShop or buy new games on the 3DS eShop until March of this year. So if you want any titles on 3DS like Pokemon games, I would go do that. We've gotten these games before, but then they announced GBA Advance, Game Boy Advance for Expansion Pack. There's a ton of gems for the Game Boy Advance with Pokemon. The third generation lives on the Game Boy Advance. Ruby, Sapphire, and one of the best Pokemon games of all time, Emerald. Fire Red and Leaf Green, two of the most underrated Pokemon games, in my opinion. Some of the most criminally underplayed Pokemon games, in my opinion, on the Game Boy Advance. It would be criminal for Pokemon to not put their GBA titles onto NSO. If you go back to the 3DS when they introduced Red, Blue, and Yellow, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, not only did they add these games to the service, but they linked Pokemon Bank to them, and it was the only way you could transfer Pokemon up to the current generation on these original games. We have Pokemon Home on the Switch. Imagine a world where Pokemon Stadium comes out for NSO, and that's coming out soon. The Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon games come to the NSO Game Boy service and the expansion pack. There is connectivity with Pokemon Home now, and you can bring these Pokemon up to the new games. Battle Frontier introduced in Emerald for everyone to enjoy. This is a slam dunk. There's no reason why Game Freak, 
and the Pokemon Company and Nintendo wouldn't want these games on NSO. NSO has been trying desperately for years now to provide value for their service. When the original NSO service came out, people felt eh, the support's a little lacking, the features are a little lacking, but it's relatively inexpensive on a per month basis, even on a three month basis. And per year, it's nothing compared to Xbox's multiplayer and PlayStation's multiplayer. But then they introduced the expansion pack, started to put DLC and other features locked behind the expansion pack for a hefty price, something that competes much more with Xbox and Sony's pricing of their multiplayer services. And since then, a lot of people have felt that the, the expansion pack is lacking in content. If Pokemon gives the green light to put some of their GBA games in the expansion pack Game Boy, I think it would sell gangbusters, at least to me it would justify the service. These are games that we have never seen released outside of their original consoles. These are games that we've had remade already. These are gems of old Pokemon. If you want to pick up the Game Boy carts these days, they, it is almost impossible to pick it up for anything relatively inexpensive. And it is incredibly hard to buy any of these titles online with the amount of fakes and the amount of reprints that have gone through that aren't legitimate. You have battery issues on the original Game Boy games. All these bevies of things getting in the way of players from enjoying these games. Now that NSO has Game Boy support all the way up to GBA, now that we see more Pokemon games coming to the service a la trading card game and Pokemon Stadium coming soon for NSO as well. That's something we're still upcoming. It makes perfect sense for Pokemon to announce Game Boy Advance games will be coming to the service in the future on Pokemon Day. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Do I expect it to shadow drop just like Nintendo shadow dropped Metroid Prime Remastered? I do not. Is there a chance that they drop the Game Boy ones? It's possible. It's certainly possible. The Game Boy ones are under the regular NSO service. They wouldn't have to advertise them in the expansion pack and they could tease something in the future and say the Game Boy Advance games, Generation 3, coming in the near future and start us out with what we've already gotten on previous virtual consoles. That is red, blue and yellow and gold, silver and crystal. They wouldn't be breaking any new ground here and they could still hype fans up and say coming soon, Game Boy Advance. This would also give them an out to not necessarily do a spinoff. There's been a lot of good analysis in the community recently that Pokemon hasn't been doing as many spinoffs as they previously have. Generation 4 was pretty much the height for Pokemon spinoffs. And while we have Go and some other mobile apps, and occasionally we get a spinoff title on the Switch nowadays, it's been lacking. So if Pokemon has no plans to do a spinoff title in the year 2023, in the lead up to the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, this is the perfect way to supplement their release schedule and satiate Pokemon fans until then, giving them games that have never been available to play outside of their original consoles, the Game Boy Advance games, for the first time on Switch, any retro Pokemon games. This is the perfect time to do it. Pokemon Day is perfect. It is perfectly placed. I've said perfect like six times. Following the Nintendo Direct. If anybody else watched the Direct who is mainly a Pokemon fan and you saw this announcement, it felt like a glaring hole that Nintendo did not put their Pokemon titles in this announcement. It felt like you've got your Zeldas, you've got your Metroids, Metroid Fusion, etc., Minish Cap for Zelda. All of these games were advertised in the service. And yet Pokemon, the best selling game franchise on the Game Boy, was nowhere to be seen. I think it's going to be remedied very quickly. I think we're going to see Game Boy support Pokemon games on the NSO service very, very soon. While it might get spread out across the year, just like they do with a lot of their titles, unfortunately, I can see Nintendo putting these games out and saving the announcement for Pokemon Day in a couple weeks. What do you guys think, though? If they added these games to NSO, would you play them? If you don't currently have NSO or the NSO expansion pack, would it justify your purchase of it to get to play these games? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're excited for Pokemon Day and all of the announcements that we're going to have coming up soon, be sure to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any updates and news on Pokemon. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.